right guys, high top quality fashion, elite, classy, gorgeous fashion. Bought this new jacket. Isn't it the best? Honestly, this is the best jacket I've ever seen. I love it so much. Love performing in it. I will do song covers in this jacket with this football and with this glove. Isn't it awesome? It looks so, so good. I'm so happy. All right, so obviously clothes can't make someone completely happy, but it is a nice start. I love wearing high fashion. I love wearing amazing clothes. You know, it makes me feel really good to wear something this nice and brand new. I love it. Just check it out with the hood covering my head, my hair here. All right. I can do anything with this jacket on. Love it so much. Then reveal the hair. All right, doing that for you guys. All right, this is a really good channel. You guys are gonna love it very much. The reason why is because I'm a singer and dancer and I'm so, so good at what I do. I'm really, really good. I'm beyond good. You know, when, when I say I'm good, I don't notice how good I am. I do notice how good I am, but other people can see it much quicker than I can, right? Because I'm used to myself. I'm, I've been in my skin all my life, so I know what I'm like. So when other people see, they're like, oh, wow, that is really, really good. So I'm super talented, love performing. You know, I would have to say I'm really into performing. And it's obvious. I have so many videos, about 7,500 videos, all right? That's a lot of videos. That's a ton of videos. Obviously, you wouldn't be a happy performer or you wouldn't love performing if you didn't do that many videos, all right? Obviously, I love it. You can just tell. I ooze love for performing. I ooze being a really amazing performer. For me, it's really, really fun. And I recommend that if you like being a performer, you should use YouTube to your advantage. Now, not everybody makes it, and even if you do make it, not everybody likes fame. But, um, but we, we never had an opportunity where you could be famous just from being in your house performing. You could be famous just doing performances or videos in your house or in the areas you frequent or different things. And you don't even have to have a record label. You don't have to have anything going for you. You could be totally fluking it. You could be having a video that goes viral and you're like, like there are homeless people that go viral. Like it's not like it's unheard of anymore. Everybody has an opportunity to be famous. Now remember, you can't rely on YouTube alone. You're not gonna, own, you're not gonna be able to have a channel that works every time. And even the best quality people don't have, don't always get famous, right? Not everybody gets famous, but if you stick to your guns and you keep putting up videos and you keep doing what you love and you really solidly love it, you actually genuinely love it, and you're not uh, not afraid to, you know, take insults or people treating you a certain way because of it. Um, because, you know, some of the best stars get insulted frequently and get treated like the worst thing ever. But, but overall, they're happy because they have everything we could ever ask for. And they have people in their circle, obviously, that, that love them. So it is a price, there is a price to pay for fame. But if you love, if you love entertaining and you love being a good, uh, if you love the idea of being a star and you're not worried about, you know, you'll, you're not worried about what fame, what fame is to you, you know, if you're not worried about people being rude or whatever, and you, you know you're good, then you will meet the people that you want to meet. You will get to the places you want to go. It's just a matter of time. So, someone like Madonna, for instance, when she started out, when she started out, she obviously was, was probably a lonely celebrity. Um, or maybe she wasn't, you never know. You don't know her. But she may have started out as a lonely celebrity, and celebrities have lonely times. But Overall, and especially now, Madonna can pretty much predict predict what, what she wants and when she wants it and have it her way because she's earned it. It takes a lot of work to put out video after video when you know there's critics out there, you know there's people that are rude and you know there's people that are that give bad reviews or even the paparazzi, for instance. There are people like that out there. 
So you know, it's, it's hard work to put yourself out there. And of course, the paparazzi have to make a living. So, you know, if that's that sells and that's what people buy, celebrities deal with it, right? But, but I mean, it is it is really nice to see inspiring people like Gaga and Madonna and Ava Max performing um, new stuff that's so trendy and so popular. And Taylor Swift and Britney, Katy Perry, Fergie. All those women create such beautiful, dazzling pieces of art and such hard, hard type of dance moves working, working their butts off, doing a really good job. So really inspirational for someone like me who, who likes to perform that way. Now, remember, I'm always talking about the girls in music. I'm always talking about the famous women. That's only because I like that kind of music the most, okay? But of course, the guys that are romantic and really attractive as well and are really high energy and a lot of fun like someone like Pitbull for instance he's really cool someone like Emily K. Blaze is awesome someone like Ricky Martin really really good so these people all all these people have that in common where they where they they reached a point in their lives where they had a video or some kind of entertainment piece that went viral or that that totally um, that totally reached a goal that they were able to make enough views and enough to get enough attention for and now they're famous so of course i like the male artists of course those are really good too it's just that i like the music that britney comes out with i like the music that madonna comes out with the most you know an enrique iglesias romantic song like palamos that is awesome i love that uh, there's other songs like Pitbull's, um, Pitbull's songs, almost all of Pitbull's songs, I love very much. And it's really cool to see those guys because they really, they really know their women. They really, they really get to, that you, when you see something like Jason Derulo, for instance, you see these guys and you know they're getting a lot of women. They're really enjoying life. They feel really good and people look up to that, right? Because that's sort of what you want for yourself and you want, you want all the gorgeous women, you want all the people giving you famous uh, props, and you want all the people to give you swag whenever you walk by, you want all that, right? And not everybody gets that, but they can look, they can be really happy about it and really, really happy for the celebrity, they could be really happy for themselves if they're striving for it and have dreams. Because these celebrities have paved the way for so many of us, we can all have dreams, we can all feel we can all have goals, and now, if you live in like a war-torn country, these things aren't possible for you unless you move to somewhere like this. So it's really nice to have that opportunity. Now, it's very difficult for someone that's obviously in a situation where it's really bad, uh, and they have no way of becoming famous, or not that that's the only goal people want to have, but it's really important to have um, uh, to have. Uh, to have that that there, to be able to know, yes, I've got celebrities in my circle or in the country or in the world that I can look up to that give me an idea that, yes, I can take my fame to the next level, I can work towards a goal and be just like them. Now, for me, I'm the kind of person that, that sees celebrities and knows, yes, they're good, yes, they have catchy songs, yes, they're amazing, but I also can see that I'm really good and amazing as well. And I look at some celebrities and I'm like, you know, if they, if they were into me, I would be like, well, you know, I'm better, you know? And then I'm not, I'm not trying to say that in a way that seems like I'm arrogant or anything like that, because I'm a really nice person, but I'm very, um, you know, if a girl in Hollywood was interested in me, which I'm sure I have turned down some of them before because I have met some of them, but I'm not saying they're bad or anything and then they're unattractive, I'm not saying that at all, but I, the kind of women that I hang out with are better than celebrity women, a lot of them are better than celebrity women, uh, and, and they're better looking than celebrity women and they're also, um, they're also have a really good personality, but I haven't met a lot of celebrity women, so maybe they look a lot better in person, you never know. But in terms of what I what I know about myself, like the women that like me, that talk to me, that are always hanging out with me, are always way better than the celebrities that I see on TV. Now, there's someone like Madonna, who in her prime was the most beautiful woman on earth. Um, she was really beautiful. Uh, now, 
if I met her, I, I have no idea if I'll ever meet her, but um, but she is beautiful for sure. She's really, really great. Uh, and she's older now, so she's kind of, she's not looking bad, she looks amazing. But when she was young, she was like, oh my goodness, she's amazing. So she's had some really crazy looks. Now those are the kind of women that I hang out with. The women that look like um, Madonna in her erotica face. Those are the kind of women that I know and the ones that, meet, that hang out with me and the ones that like me. Those are the kind of women that I spend time with. And so I'm not really too concerned about fame or anything. I'm not really too concerned about whether I'll get there because I kind of have a sense, yes, I most likely will. And people love me very much. All kinds of people love me. I'm not only liked by the most attractive people in the world, obviously, but obviously people are going to like me if they're not as attractive because if the most attractive people are like me, then yes, other people will too. But I feel very blessed to be who I am. I'm very lucky. I have a good, a good uh, source of, of love in my life. Uh, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky to be surrounded by the people that I'm surrounded by. They're great people. Really happy to be uh, a friend and uh, friend to them and and all anything else you can call them relationships. But I'm really happy to be um, in their circle. In their in their circle. I've got a lot of friends and a lot of people that I've. Uh, got around me, so really happy about that. Really great to enjoy uh, people that you love, that care about you, that feel really good about your talents. You know, I'm very lucky to have a lot of people that support me on my ch on my channel. The prettiest women in the world come up to me all the time and say, "Wow, you're so good. You're totally inspirational. You do such a good job. You're amazing. You're so talented. You are so uh, gifted at what you do." I'm really inspired, and what I try to tell them is, you know, first of all, I tell them if you want a YouTube channel, go for it. Uh, and this could be for anyone. Uh, the pretty women that I, I really like, obviously they're great, but there's other people too. If you, even if you're not good looking and you want a channel, I think you should go for it because it's important that you, and of course, you, you might get insulted, you might get really negative comments. Please don't take that to heart. People will say that, some people just spend all day at home insulting people and they never leave the house. So you can't take that serious, right? So don't be threatened by that. Don't worry about that. If you're trying to do your best and you're trying to make yourself known, it's really important that you don't worry about that kind of stuff. Like some people have actually committed suicide by that kind of stuff. And it's really sad to see because the person on the other end might be someone that's totally not, not a good quality person at all. Maybe they failed at everything. Or maybe they just have a mental illness. You never know, right? So they might be just sitting at home all day stewing and you're really, really good and then you, you do something to yourself because you're worried about it. You know, obviously you don't know that person. Maybe they're maybe they're maybe they're just people that have a mental illness where they hate everybody. You never know, right? So you can't rely on their opinion. It means nothing, right? So please especially if you're a young person, I get insulted on my channel by some people. Not, most people are very nice and people that know I'm really talented know I'm really good. So everybody knows I'm a super talent and I'm really good, almost too good. So everybody knows that. So I get some negative comments from some people and who knows, maybe they're in wheelchairs sitting at home. Maybe they never go out. Maybe they have a mental illness. Maybe they're strange, you never know. Maybe they're, maybe they're afraid to leave the house and have a disorder or maybe, maybe they are you never know what the situation is, right? So you can't, you can't rely on anybody's negative opinion because they could be, you don't know. If you don't see the person, people could send fake pictures. You have no idea. So don't worry about someone on the other end if they're insulting you. That's fine, you know. You are, you deserve love. You deserve to be happy. You deserve good things. So just, just remember that. Now, um, now, some celebrities have actually committed suicide over stuff like that. And it's really sad to see because they were so talented. I'm not sure what her name was. She was from the Cranberries. And she was so good. She was so, she was great. She passed away. I think she, it was a suicide. I'm not sure. It might not have been. Maybe it was drugs. But she passed away. And she was so good. You know, I wanted her to come up with a lot of new stuff. She was really, really good. And, of course, she... Um, she was a mega star, I felt. She might not have been the number one like Madonna, but she was really, really good. And I really miss her music. Well, her music is still out, but I really miss her performing new stuff because she was amazing. Uh, but you don't know the circumstances. Maybe she died for some other reason. 
but you have no clue whatsoever. But all you know is bullying and cyberbullying is something you can't take seriously, all right? It happens to everyone. Everyone gets cyberbullied because it's so easy. You, ha you hide behind a fake profile. You hide behind a fake picture. You, you, you just say whatever you want because you don't care because you're not seeing the person. So these people insult like crazy. If they met you in person, they'd probably be scared of you, right? So you can't, you can't really rely on that. I mean, I don't know if they'd be scared, but they're obviously just doing it online. Maybe they're, maybe something's wrong with them. Maybe, you know, if you're, especially if you're a young person, if you're a really young person and you're getting cyberbullied, please ignore it because obviously if you're putting yourself out there and you're trying your best, you should really feel good, right? If you're putting yourself out there, you're trying your best. It's important you feel good. So. On that note, I just want to say I'm really grateful to you for having me perform on here uh, and being allowed to. I'm really lucky to have that. Um, and everybody that's on this platform feels really good about it. It's a strong community with a lot of ties. Uh, and well, I mean, we don't really, not, not everybody speaks to each other, obviously, but it's a, I feel it's a good community. Um, and I feel that um, when I really can't wait to do collaboration, so the stuff. There's stuff I've talked about with people that I've wanted to do collaborations with, but nothing solid has come in yet. But there will be collaborations, definitely. You know, if I get famous, obviously there'll be collaborations all the time. I do like performing alone, though, because I do feel great about the control I have and all that. But but because I have, but I would be willing to work with a person. I would love it. I think it'd be really fun. Um, and of course, my friends are all my male friends are buff strong masculine men and all my female friends are petite size zero to two women with uh, ama an amazing look so i would definitely love to perform to perform with one of those people one of my friends that i have that's like that all right but lots of friends like that so i can't wait to perform with some of them all right so you guys will really like the collaboration but it takes a lot of trust you have to make sure the person is in the same mindset you are and all that and it's something that they're willing to do with you and trust you know because i mean i i mean i'd be willing to i'd be willing to be nice to them and give them money for it but i have to trust the person and i can just pick anybody so i want to make sure i pick somebody good and i want to make sure I pick, some people might, might even do it for free they may maybe even some celebrities have i, I think i think patrick started a video uh, with Katy Perry and some celebrities, and he's famous now, uh, and he's, he's kind of does makeup tutorials, and he's famous. Uh, now, he um, did some collaborations with some major celebrities, and I think for that, I think they, um, they were on his channel, so I think they really helped him out by by performing with him. I don't know if he, if he does their makeup or if there's an arrangement with them ahead of time, but he performed with them on his channel, and it was all on his channel. I'm not sure if they just did it for free to be nice, and they were on his channel, but they were really nice to do that, and now he's famous. So I'd be willing to collaborate with anyone that is that wants to collaborate with me that looks really, really good, of course. Um, definitely love that. Okay, guys, so that's my rant um, there. Look forward to collaboration. So when you talk about future plans, collaborations is definitely one of them. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but it will happen. All right. So thank you guys. All right. Bye.